protecting 140,000 square kilometers is an extremely difficult task and Ecuador, the Galapagos needs, needs new technology if we want to preserve the Galapagos Island for the future. Imagine a small, cheap, unmanned air vehicle with leading edge technology that flies for about 16 hours and transmits live video from wherever it's flying back to the base station. Now multiply this by 30 and we have a complete solution flying over the full national park controlling illegal fishing. The Kero UAV has a 12 foot wingspan, it is 7.5 feet long and has a 20 kilogram takeoff gross weight. A typical mission of the Piquero consists on a catapult takeoff, then it will climb up to 2,000 feet and then it will fly at a velocity of around 70 ktas until it reaches its point of location. Then it will start loitering uh, for 12 to 16 hours. Then well, it, well, it will look, start looking for targets or any illegal activity in the Galapagos, over the Galapagos Islands Sea. Inside of the Piquero, we have four main different uh, systems. We have the communications, we have camera, engine, and an autopilot. The Piquero project was constructed here at the Universidad San Francisco de Quito by a teamwork of students, instructors, and professors. It's the first time that different areas of engineering are working together. Areas such as mechanical, aerospatial, electronics and industrial engineering are working in the single project. Probably we're the first ones to build the UEB here in Ecuador and we are the first ones too to use composite materials to manufacture a whole prototype of a UEB. For this great project we needed a great team. Universidad San Francisco de Quito, Ecuador's best university which has a research lab in the Galapagos and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, the world's best aerospace university, joined forces for this project. Additionally, we managed to get the Ecuadorian government through the director of the National Park to join us and the three members signed an agreement to collaborate.